Today is a special day, my RC friends, because we have something that we can add to this awesome machine. And without further ado, let's start the unboxing. So today is a special day, even if it's a smaller special day, but it is, it is a special day. It's only smaller because this package is just a bit smaller than other packages. And it is something that you can perfectly add to this really great machine, the Leaper 970 SME. By the way, I got it from Kaf Pro in Germany, a really, really nice shop. And so far also this equipment is coming from Kaf Pro, and I hope that you will like it. I haven't seen it until now. Let's open the box. Therefore I have this small knife. And let's see what's in there. Quickly open. I hope that you can see it. I turn it like this. We don't need this. Ta-da! Anybody an, an idea what this is? This is the quick oil system for the K970 SME. And I haven't seen it before yet. This really looks cool. This is the quick coupling, quick oil system. So when you're, for example, putting a grabber, a big hydraulic scissor to the boom, you put it to the excavator, there's no need to connect the hoses anymore because this will be done automatically, like the real thing with this additional quick oil system. So this is really cool. Let's see what else is in the box. It is something that we need. It is a hydraulic grapple, and this also fits perfectly to the Leaper 970 SME. Can you see it already? Oh my gosh. Look at this huge thing. By the way, I was asking myself if anybody of you have seen the 970 working with such a thing. To be honest, I haven't yet, but I thought that this could be something that you can use for it. There it is. And this is a really great combination with the quick oil system. You see, you have the counterpart right here at the tool. This is fixed to the machine and then you can use it automatically. Let's see how this tool looks like. As always, as all the things that are coming, actually coming now from China, this thing also looks awesome. I think there is no need to mention this is made fully out of metal. And look how it looks like. Isn't this nice? Quite heavy. And this is the quick oil system right at the top. And this is the counterpart. And you see that it comes like this. The first time I have, it, I, I have something like this on my desk. This must be really cool when you can, just, you can just change your tool for the excavator. Look how big this is. You can just change it without touching anything. This must be really cool, I guess. Yeah, the, the handcraft chip is, as we all know already. If you like something like this in Germany, I think they are only ship in, in Germany, but check it out. I put the link in the box below. It's the Kaff Pro shop in Germany. They do a really good job. And yeah, this is awesome. So what do you think? Should we just try and put this on the excavator? Give me a few seconds and this will be equipped to the excavator. So back again, and I have installed the quick oil system to the Leaper 970 SME. By the way, this was quite Easy. All the things that you need come with the kit and you have to do it. I will show it to you immediately on the boom and how the hoses are installed. This is really quite easy and did not take a long time for me. But what I also did is you might remember the radio that comes with the 970. It is the Flight Sky Palladian light version. It is quite a nice radio. You have a good software. You can configure a lot of things, but there's this, let's say, problem or something that needs can be better with the sticks. These are just standard sticks. And the cool thing is 
when you get the chance to get the Paladin EV, the better version, the, it's more expensive, but really a nice radio that it is worth it. You have these 3D sticks. You can also turn the knobs and then you can put functions on these knobs. And this is perfect when installing something like this grapple. You can use the sticks to control it. And now I will show you, first of all, what looks different at the boom. So I hope that you can see it. These are the connectors. These hoses are new. You just need, for each connector, you need uh, four screws. These are the hoses and they are going through these aluminum holders and then directly go into the quick oil system. I will show you how it looks from underneath. I hope you can see it. This is the quick oil system. You can see four of these, let's say holes, four holes. And this is the counterpart to this thing. So these two just fit to each other perfectly. I think without further ado, I should just start immediately, show you how to work with it, how it looks like, how it feels. So let's do it. First of all, I will just do it without the engine on, but later on I will turn on the engine so that you get a better impression of the great sound coming from this big machine. So what you need to do is always, this is not, not that easy and depends how good your excavator is. You have to find the right spot to get this thing on. And this is how it goes. Like this, then you close it. That's it. And that's all. Now this thing is connected to the machine because the hoses are going through this block and then are leading into these hoses and into the, the grabber. And now you can turn it. It is, I guess, something around about 340 degrees maybe. It's not 360, it's not an endless turn. It's an hydraulic turn. And you can see you can do it quite well. If you just uh, work with it, you just have to have in your mind what you're doing with it to do it the right way. And for sure you can open it. Quite a huge thing and you can close it. So this works pretty well. And the cool thing is that these knobs are controlling it. So this is, this is the turning. And this is opening, open and closing the grabber. So now, first of all, let's test it. Um, and when I'm testing it, I will just turn on the sound.
So the last thing, and I guess the presentation uh, until now was really good. My impression is that you can very smoothly control this thing. Even these, these small the stone pellets can be handled very good. This big one. And now let's see the last thing. We will just take this fire extinguisher. It's around uh, five kilogram. And let's see if this also works. So, this was the first impression of this brand new combination working with the quick oil system. I hope that you got a good impression. By the way, if you have questions, don't forget to put your questions in the comments below. And if you did not subscribe until yet my channel, stay tuned and subscribe it because many, many videos will come in the close future. I hope you like it. I just say stay safe until next time and have a good time. Bye bye.